Hello everyone and welcome to HT Global News, your source for inspiring updates from Chonigok. As we step into 2024, which marks one year before the Chon Won Gung Chonil Sanctum entrance ceremony, Chuma emphasized the need for everyone to become centered on the providence. In this week's HT Global News, we'll be covering True Parents New Year's breakfast and special luncheon with prominent figures from Samun University. On January 1, 2024, to start the new year, True Mother shared a special breakfast with Chon Yilguk leaders. She addressed the leaders with her New Year's message. Reverend Iki Song, director of Chon Shim Won, then offered a fervent prayer, reiterating the commitment to all to give their best for the completion of Heaven's providence. All participants pledged to start this hopeful new year in unity, responding to the call to centralize and unite for the providence. Three days later, True Mother held a special luncheon at Chon Jong Gung, to which the leaders of Sun Moon University were invited. Among the attendees were Professor Moon Yona, Director of the Sonak Institute, Mr. Moon Song Jae, President of Sun Moon University, and several other key officials of the institution. Reverend Chu Jae Wan, the Director of the Pastoral Care, offered a report and prayer, committing to wholeheartedly contribute to the construction of a world of peace desired by heaven based on the founding philosophy of loving heaven, loving people, and loving the country. The president of the university then introduced the key officials in attendance and reported on the current state of the university, highlighting efforts to establish a data-driven university management system, sharing innovations and restructurings in operation. True Mother, in her address, comprehensively summarized the history of the Providence and expressed her hopes for Sun Moon University. Chamuro. 참 부모에 의해서 하늘 부모님을 모실 수 있는 성전 천원궁을 2023년에 봉헌하고 이제 금년에 최종 완벽하게 점검하여 내년에 
입궁식을 하기까지 하늘 부모님의 실존하심을 전 세계에 알려야 하겠기에 내가 선문대 UPA 생도들을 길러서 이제 금년에 졸업하게 되면 이제 세계 선교로 보낼 거야. 이 인류가 꿈에도 그리는 평화세계. 평화세계는 인간 가지고는 안 돼. 중심에 하늘이 계셔야 돼. 예, 하늘 부모님을 중심한 참 부모에 의한 인류 한 가족의 꿈을 실체적으로 실현하고 보여주는 그러한 교육을 하는 데 있어서 이제 선문대가 이 하늘의 섭리를 알았으니 섭리에 동참하여 하나가 돼요. 인류의 소원, 하늘 부모님의 꿈, 인류 한가족 평화세계를 이룩하는데 선문에 많은 학생들이 졸업하게 되면 세계 인류를 위한 세계에 기억되는 자랑스러운 대열에 합류할 수 있는 그러한 미래의 지도자를 길러내는 선문대학이 되기를 축원합니다. Following these gracious words of blessing for s u n m o University, the Vice President of the University proposed a toast for victory. To conclude the event, all participants reaffirmed their commitment to ensuring s u n m o University, as a national university of Chernogok, fulfills its role in nurturing future leaders. thus contributing to the development of the future talents. In Korea, a workshop for newly appointed Chun Shimwon assistants were held. These church leaders from 16 regions, in addition to their pastoral duties, will integrate the grace of the Chonbo Providence into their local ministry work. The workshop provided an opportunity to understand the role of the Chon s h i m w o n Providence and the duties of the Chon s h i m w o n assistants in Korea. The 1,615th h y o j o n g c h o n b o Special Training Session was conducted. This session included the once every three years blessing ceremony for unmarried second and third generation spirits, which was a deeply moving and gracious event. The next session included c h a n y a n g Ancestor Liberation Ceremony, c h o n s h i m w o n Unison Prayer, followed by the h y o j o n g Ancestor Blessing Ceremony and the blessing ceremony for unmarried second and third generation spirits, making it a time full of grace. At Incheon Grand Church, a 40-day special training in Tongilmudo and Ilwondo for public officials and their spouses has been conducted since October 2023, held every Wednesday under the auspices of the World Peace Martial Arts Union and the Korean Tongilmudo Association. Under the guidance of Master Song Hee Chol, public officials and their spouses from Incheon Grand Church, led by the leader Kim Inchan, participated and demonstrated the skills they honed during the 40-day special training. 
Participants pledge to continue practicing Tongil Mudo and Ilwondo, created by True Parents for Health Management, and to absolutely unite with True Mother in mind and spirit to build a heavily unified Korea. In Taiwan, the Taichung Church held a year-end festival to promote the ideology of the Family Federation and to testify to the True Parents. As a result of the efforts of the entire church, led by church leader Chong Tae Sok and his spouse, the event was a great success with the attendance of 700 people. A youth performance team consisting of college students presented a dance on the theme Peace and church leader Huang Chung Ping conveyed the words of heaven through the introduction of the Family Federation. The year-end festival became a precious time of gratitude and joy as all the church members united to offer this victory to heaven. In the United States, the Celebration of Peace Awards Banquet 2023 was held with the participation of 88 people. The opening interface water ceremony gathering hearts together to reflect on 2023 and share the vision of world peace. Dr. Michael Jenkins conveyed the message that peace starts with oneself, reminding everyone of the True Parents' vision of peace. Four outstanding leaders from different organizations were awarded and the event concluded with the song, Let There Be Peace on Earth. In Huntington, Massachusetts, high school and middle school students, along with young adult staff, gathered for a four-day winter training session. The theme of the training was understanding one's identity as a blessed child, exploring ways to build a relationship with Heavenly Parent, practicing the culture of a blessed life, and understanding the value of the blessing in marriage through interactive lectures. Each evening concluded with a fervent in Unified Prayers at Chong Shimon. In Anchorage, Alaska, several youths participated in a three-day winter seminar for reflection and meditation. It was an opportunity for them to set goals for 2024, strengthen their bonds of friendship, and conclude 2023 on a high note. In Thailand, the special worship service celebrating Christmas with the Heavenly Parent was held at the National Headquarters Church in accordance with the instruction of True Mother. More than 370 people attended the service, including 250 on-site and about 123 online. Reverend Hori Masaichi, President of Asia Pacific Region, delivered a special sermon on the theme, The Birth of the Mission of Jesus and the Only Begotten Daughter. The program also included a cultural performance celebrating Christmas and a shared meal, making it a meaningful time for everyone. In the Asia Pacific Region, the Cambodia Tongil Mudo Federation and the Ministry of Education of Cambodia organized the 2023 National Tongil Mudo Tournament, which was held for four days. More than 100 athletes participated in matches, freestyle competition, belt promotion exams, and Hyojong character education. Dr. Sok Chuno explained the meaning and the value of the Tongil Mudo and emphasized the hope that everyone would become one with True Parents' heart and play a leading role in realizing a heavily unified world. In Nepal, a trek to Everest Base Camp was conducted as a special devotion for the success of Vision 2025 and Vision 2027. Upon reaching the base camp, the trekkers waved the flags of the Family Federation and Unification Church, dedicating all victorious outcomes to Heavenly Parent and True Parents, and reaffirming their commitment to the success of Vision 2025 and 2027. In Brazil, the inauguration ceremony for the first media studio took place in Sao Paulo, organized by the South American Continental Headquarters. 
Following through parents' words on the importance of media, HTA Studio will provide enhanced media capabilities, diverse content creation, and professional education programs for peace and unification. Continental President Kim Dong-woo expresses hope that all projects carried out by the Family Federation of Brazil will be disseminated throughout South America online, sparking a new wave of change. The 28th Special Fishing Devotion for the 33 countries of Latin America was conducted in Uruguay. This annual event has been upheld since 1996 with 33 fishing roads representing the 33 countries of Latin America in line with True Parents' devotional expectation. Young members participated in this special devotion, making it an opportunity to train their spirituality and they joyfully caught three Corvina Negra fish after eight days of devotion. In Peru, more than 200 peace ambassadors gathered at the headquarters church for a year-end gathering. The attendees expressed their immense gratitude to UPF, shared the reports of activities for the year, and reaffirmed their commitment to collaborate further in 2024. In Zambia, 54 people participated in a 21-day Divine Principled Seminar. The seminar was designed to convey True Mother's Heart to future generations and to prepare them for the blessing ceremony. The program included teachings on the life course of True Parents, the value of the blessing, Chanchi One Providence, restoration of all things, and various activities to experience the heart of Heavenly Parent and True Parents. Additionally, in a similar seminar was held in Mozambique with the participation of 28 people. In Cote d'Ivoire, a seven-day Divine Principle seminar was conducted as part of the activities of the Heavenly Tribal Messiahs. Through the lectures, participants realized that true parents on earth are the Messiah and they committed to attend a 21-day seminar to prepare for the blessing marriage. As we live a life in the presence of our Heavenly Parent, the Creator, it is essential that we align ourselves with Heavenly Parent's vision. The true parents, aware of the Heavenly Parent's ideal and dreams, are enlightening us and nurturing the hope that all humanity will return to the embrace of Heavenly Parent. As we work towards making this vision a reality, let us all prepare ourselves for the momentous 2025 Chan Won Gong Channel Sanctum Entrance Ceremony. That's all for this week's HG Global News. Thank you for tuning in and may God bless you.